Lots of people drink a protein shake after a workout, but do they actually do anything? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Now I actually got this question in the comments of my Are You Really Hungry video, and when I read it, I was like, how have I not made a video about this topic? I mean, it seems like a no-brainer once I was there reading it, but I've never done it, so here we are. And if you do happen to be new here, this channel is all about healthy eating and nutrition, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe, and if you have questions like this, I answer questions all the time, so definitely leave those in the comments. So when we're talking about protein powders and protein shakes and post-workout nutrition in general, there are two main questions. The first is, do you actually even need it? And then the second is, if you do need it, what kind of things should you be eating? Now this can get really specific and individualized if you're working with a sports dietitian one-on-one, -on -one, but there are a few general guidelines. So let's start with the first question. Do you need post-workout nutrition? Now the idea with these shakes and powders is that after a workout, you need to replenish your body, you need to help it repair and rebuild and recover from the workout that you just did. And that not only will this help you get back to where you were before the workout, but that it can also help you see results more quickly, especially when we're talking about building muscle. So with that in mind, there are two major groups that can really benefit from post-workout nutrition. The first group is what I'm going to call the athletes, and these are actual like professional athletes, college athletes, things like that, but also people who are doing really intense training, intense workouts, multiple workouts in one day, and having intense games. So the average person who's just working out to feel good and be healthy probably isn't going to fit into this group. The second group of people who could benefit from eating something after a workout are hungry people. And this just means that if you're hungry after you work out, you should probably eat. So this is really about listening to your body. If you didn't eat something before your workout, you're probably going to fit into this category. If it's been a while since you've eaten before your workout, you're probably going to fit into this category. Or maybe if you just had a really hard workout or you've been doing a lot of stuff and your body's saying, hey, I'm hungry, I need more food, then you're also going to fall into this category. So if you don't fit into the athlete group and you're not hungry after your workout, then really you're probably just eating extra food. So now that we know who might want to eat after a workout, it's time to talk about what you actually want to be eating. Now to start off, I want to say that the average person doesn't really need any shakes or supplements. You can get what you need from food. And to be honest, personally, if I'm going to need a snack or a meal after a workout, depending on how hungry I am, I'd rather eat real food than drink a protein shake because one, the food is probably going to taste a lot better and be more satisfying, but also those protein powders and protein shakes can get really expensive. Now when you're trying to decide what you want to eat after a workout, you want to make sure that you're getting some carbs and some protein. So with that in mind, if you still like the idea of drinking something after a workout as opposed to actually eating something, you can make your own smoothie with milk and fruit and maybe some sort of nut butter thrown in there. If you want to eat something and actually chew it, then you could have a piece of fruit with some nuts or a piece of toast with some peanut butter or maybe like an open-faced sandwich, something like that if you're just looking for a snack. And then going on to a meal, it's the same kind of thing, just bigger. Just making sure that you're having some carb and some protein in the mix is what's really important. Now with that said, if you still like the idea of a protein powder, I can tell you what I would look for personally if I was out shopping for protein powders. The first thing that I would look at is what is going into this protein powder besides the actual protein part, like the hemp protein or the pea protein or the whey protein. So does it have extra sweeteners in there or flavors or colors or other supplements in the mix? I would want something that's pretty bare bones and doesn't have all that extra stuff added in. The other thing that I would think about if I was looking at whey protein specifically is what those cows are actually eating. I would want whey protein that came from grass-fed cows. And this is important because what a cow eats really does matter. It affects their health and their quality of life, and if they are healthier animals, then that means that the stuff we get from them is going to be healthier for us. And also with post-workout nutrition, it's important to think beyond just what we're actually eating. We also have to make sure that we're rehydrating properly, and that if we did lose a lot of salt in our sweat, that we are replenishing that as well. So those are my thoughts on the whole protein powder thing. I hope you found this video helpful and definitely let me know in the comments if you have any other thoughts about this, any favorite post-workout snacks or meals, definitely share those too. And if you're new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and healthy recipes, make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I want to show you how to do it. And if you're loving the free info here but you're finding that you need something more personalized, don't forget that I do offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling and coaching. So if you're interested in working with me, just let me know and we can get that set up for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.